It's very nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> Your English is very good. <laughs> Whoever's assisting. We see a very good image here. It's very, very good. Where on one screen I'm seeing the actual surgery inside the eye. And on the other screen, I'm having a conversation with the OR team. I assume she's never gotten treated. Unfortunately, no. So this condition is a retinal detachment. And to give you some context as to how delicate and challenging it is to fix the retina, the retina is essentially the same as a chip you'd have in a video camera. So if you imagine taking that chip out of your camera, hitting it with a hammer, and then asking the surgeon to put all those pieces back together again, so that it can function. That's essentially what they're trying to do here. Doctor, please? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. They have a question. Yes. What do you think? The patient has very advanced disease. I've never seen diabetic retinopathy that advanced. So there's a lot of fibrous membrane and tissue that they need to take off in order to get the retina to reattach. Remove the scar tissue so they can actually flatten the retina. Once the retina is flattened and attached, it can start to work again. That's very good. She may regain some degree of vision. I mean, it looks like it's already attaching, so that's good. Now the central part of the retina is attached. The retina is doing real-time video compression mathematically in your eye, in real time, and streams that to the brain. But I'm looking inside the microscope and I'm talking to them face to face. If we can do that to prevent childhood blindness, we can shorten the learning curve so that these doctors can become more proficient, more successful, restoring sight in children who would otherwise be blind. I'm very, very impressed. Yeah. Okay, well have a good morning. You too, thank you very much. Bye. And in the end, our goal is to make sure that all the children who are at risk of going blind will have a place to go, and not just in the country of Armenia, but all of the surrounding Eastern Bloc states, the former Soviet states, now will have a resource where they can send some of their children who are in the process of going blind. and it's through the support of people in the community that can help us get there.